What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall and chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Had to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Okay. I just checked the news reports, and Monarch is being heralded as a hero. No, I'm not okay. Because if I had just refused to make that confession... Then you'd be dead. Somebody else would have done it. Doesn't make it easier. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but... I mean, it's a long shot. No way in over here. Hey, I think I found a way in. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? 
$12,000 moving bill. You must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? No wonder you were always coming up with crazy shit. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Paul Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note, it's directed me. July 4th, 2010. Will. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Shit. What the... The safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. July 4th. Holy shit. Beth Wilder. What was that? You recorded that for me in 2010? I didn't just leave it there. What the fuck? Back to get it. So the countermeasure is gone? The countermeasure, gone. It's not good. Oh, shit. We need to figure this out. Safe. Let's keep looking. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future. Help me push this out of the way. Lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. <clears throat> Hurry. Jack. Your brother addressed that video to me, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. A second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth.
Here goes nothing. Corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine, and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video in your ground zero. Serene's had a chronium research. She'll be at the monarch gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. The 
Captain Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. We didn't come this far to get derailed now. You talk to him, find out what he knows. Then get rid of him. You're all heart money bags. I know you want to make this all about you and me, Jack. But that's far away in the past now. And I have a speech to prepare for. where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place.